welcome back welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in so first things first if you haven't subscribed please subscribe the aim is to get 200 and i think i'm six people like six, six subscribers away so please do subscribe okay so what we're going to be doing today is life sciences grade 12 and it's protein synthesis i personally love it i feel like i love everything in life science but anyways yeah protein synthesis i hope you do enjoy feel free you know to drop some comments and ask me if you don't understand anything along the way because this is a summary so yeah let's get to it <laughs> okay so what you need to know is that protein synthesis has two phases namely transcription and translation so transcription happens in the nucleus as indicated in the diagram and translation takes place on the ribosome takes place there yeah so those are the two phases and okay yeah, let me just start explaining so this is the d d dna strand it's double stranded obviously and then it's going to unwind similarly to in dna replication so it's going to unwind and then it's going to be left with uh two like separate oh it's going to unwind then the hydrogen bonds are going to break obviously leaving two separate strands so here you just can't see it properly is free rna nucleotides that are found in the nucleoplasm basically inside the nucleus so the free rna nucleotides are going to be used to build the mrna strand so as you can see here this is the dna template and then the mrna forms according to the nitrogenous bases that are on the dna template so here it was C for cytosine, and then the complementary nitrogenous base that bonded was G. So similarly, similar to DNA replication. So that process is going to happen. And then once the mRNA strand has been formed, it leaves the nucleus, as you can see with this arrow, through the nuclear pore, passes through the cytoplasm, and attaches itself to the ribosome. Yeah, it attaches itself to the ribosome. And here is where translation is going to happen. So mRNA, just in case you didn't know, stands for messenger RNA. It basically carries the message from the DNA of how the protein should be formed because of those complementary nitrogenous bases. Yeah, so okay, go, let's go back to here. So the mRNA attaches itself to the ribosome. And then three of these nitrogenous bases are called a codon. Fine, just get that in your head. So tRNA, T sort of like transport, it brings an anticodon or amino acid according to the codon that is found on the mRNA. So here, the codon that we have is CGU. So tRNA is supposed to bring the complementary one, and the complementary one will be GCA. And here, as you see, the one that's coming is GCA. And then that forms. Those two are bonded by weak hydrogen bonds, obviously. But then the bonds between two amino between con, like between amino acids basically between the amino acids are peptide bonds so amino acids are linked together by peptide bonds so once the peptide bond has been established between the amino acids the tRNA detaches itself from the anticodon and it goes back and it fetches another amino acid so that process continues until it gets to amino acid 50 or more because a protein, as you learned in earlier grades, a protein has 50 amino acids. So once it gets to 50, the process stops and 
the protein obviously is formed and it detaches from the ribosome and that is protein synthesis in a nutshell basically we're making proteins synthesis making proteins yeah so that is a process Okay, another thing that is going to be examined in the section of protein synthesis is where they give you amino acids. They will always give you this. Like, you see this first part that I drew out? Yeah. They will always give you... You don't have to know what... Okay, ARG stands for arginine. CYS stands for cysteine. And those are all amino acids. But again, you do not have to know this. They will give it to you as I wrote it out like this so now the question is going to be um write out the mrna codon from the amino acid arg so the the table is going to have that arg the trna anticodons for it are gcu so if you have to write down the mrna it's as easy as knowing that g binds with C, C binds with G, and U binds with A. And then you go down A in RNA binds with U, C binds with G, and the same thing. You do that. This was actually supposed to be in a table, but I don't really like drawing tables. <laughs> okay, that. C A A. You see what I did? Went from G to C, U to A, U to A. Same thing here. C A C U C G. And when you write this out, try and make your G's and C's visible so that it's easy for the examine, I mean for the marker to see what you're actually writing down. And then we go from mRNA to DNA. C, some of them are going to be the same, but that's okay. C is G, G with C, and A. So DNA, DNA adenine bonds with thymine. So it's going to be a T, G, C, T instead of GCU, because there's no uracil in DNA. Cool, and then we move on. Same thing, we go from U, I mean UGU, and that is A, C, A. That's just how you do it, you see it's the same there. And then CAA, G, remember A in DNA is T, I mean G in DNA bonds with T, so it's going to be G, T, T instead of G, U, U. We do the same there. G, T, G. Got to go. Uracil with adenine, guanine, and uracil. And that's how you're going to complete the table. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as knowing which nitrogenous pair bonds with which. And you'll be able to complete your table. And yeah, that is it. Well, the most important part. I think I'm gonna just highlight out some more important parts so that you just know. Always know transcription takes place in the nucleus. <laughs> and translation takes place in the ribosome. Yeah, just know, just know your cell organelles, just know your, you know, just know that know how to do this and you have protein synthesis in the bag that is it for this video thank you so so much for watching up until this point i hope you understood everything i hope everything made sense and if it didn't guys feel free ask me that's why i'm here i want to help you i want to help you guys ace your exams your tests everything you know so please drop some comments tell your friends tell everyone to come and tune in and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much bye leanies <laughs> that is your name now guys leanies bye, -bye.